Today, I'm announcing that in consultation with Dr. Tony Fauci, we developed the first three objectives of the new initiative that I'm asking this team to complete once I'm sworn in in our first 100 days in office. My first 100 days won't end the COVID-19 virus. I can't promise that. But, but we did not get into this mess quickly. We're not going to get out of it quickly. It's going to take some time. But I'm absolutely convinced that in 100 days, we can change the course of the disease and change life in America for the better. First, my first 100 days is going to require, I'm going to ask for a masking plan. Everyone for the first 100 days of my administration to wear a mask. It will start with my signing an order on day one to require masks where I can under the law, like federal buildings, interstate travel on planes, trains, and buses. I'll also be working with the governors and mayors to do the same in their states and their cities. We're going to require masks wherever possible. But this goes beyond government action. And so, as a new president, I'm going to speak directly to the American people and say what I'm saying now. We need your help. Wear a mask for just 100 days. It's the easiest thing you can do to reduce COVID cases, hospitalizations, and death. Help yourself, your family, and your community. Whatever your politics or point of view, mask up for 100 days once we take office. 100 days to make a difference. It's not a political statement. It's a patriotic act. It won't be the end of our efforts, but it's a necessary and easy beginning, an easy start. Secondly, this team, this team will help get at the latest, at the last 100 million COVID-19 vaccine, at least 100 million COVID vaccine shots into the arms of the American people in the first 100 days. 100 million shots in the first 100 days. And we'll follow the guidance of science to get the vaccines to those most at risk. That includes healthcare professionals, people in long-term care, and as soon as possible, it will include educators. This will be the most efficient mass vaccination plan in U.S. history. I credit everyone who's gotten up to, we've, has gotten us up to this point. But developing a vaccine is only one Herculean task. Distributing it is another Herculean task. You know, and vaccines in a vial only work if they're injected into an arm of people, especially those most at risk. This would be one of the hardest and most costly operational challenges in our nation's history. We're going to need Congress to fully fund vaccine distribution to all corners of the country, to everyone. I'm encouraged by the bipartisan efforts in Congress around a $900 billion economic relief package, which I've said is critical. But this package is only a start for more action early next year. We must also focus significant resources on direct public health response to COVID-19. Our preliminary view of Trump administration's vaccine distribution plans confirms media reports. Without urgent action by this Congress this month to put sufficient resources into vaccine distribution and manufacturing, which the bipartisan group is working on, there's a real chance that after an early round of vaccinations, the effort will slow and stall. Let me repeat, we need Congress to finish the bipartisan work underway now, or millions of Americans may wait months longer to get the vaccine. Months longer than they otherwise would have to get, wait to get the vaccine, the vaccination. Look, and then we're gonna need additional action next year to fund the rest of the distribution efforts. We also need the Trump administration to act now, though, to purchase the doses it has negotiated with Pfizer and Moderna, and to work swiftly to scale manufacturing to U.S. populations and the world. This can be fixed. If it does, if it is fixed, my team will be able to get at least 100 million vaccinations done in my first 100 days. The third thing I'm going to ask in the 100 days 
It should be a national priority to get our kids back into school and keep them in school. If Congress provides the funding we need to protect students, educators, and staff, if states and cities put strong public health measures in place that we all follow, then my team will work to see that a majority of our schools can be open by the end of my first 100 days. That's right. We'll look to have the most schools open that we can possibly in 100 days if Congress provides the funding we need. It's not a secret how to do it. Masking, vaccinations, opening schools. These are the three key goals for my first 100 days. But we'll still have much to do in the year ahead, and sadly, much difficulty as well. We'll be far, far from done. Yet, it's possible that after 100 days, we'll be much further along in the fight against this pandemic.